Um, all right. Um, today I'm going to talk about a digital collage. And if you're not working in digital media, I encourage you to get over there and do some digital media because it's a really cool way to work. It's a really cool way to troubleshoot. Um, so you can do some pretty cool stuff. Today we're going to talk about Art Rage. You can see that on my on my screen there, um, the Art Rage app. And we're also going to talk about Photoshop Express over here on the left hand side. You'll see that. Um, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into camera roll and show you I've done some screen grabs and I just let me just turn my phone down. I've done some screen grabs here. This is just a snippet of one of the um, soliloquies from Romeo and Juliet by Will Shakespeare. Um, the one of the balcony scene pieces. I've got that in text and I just did a screen grab on that. And um, just to be sure you guys know what I'm talking about when I say screen grab, I'm going to go back out to Safari and I will show you uh, let's see if I can find it. Hold on a second. There. So here is Shakespeare Online, Romeo and Juliet, annotated balcony scene. And I just wanted to grab this little piece right here that Romeo says. And on the iPad, you know, I can just make that larger and then just hold down the home button and the power button and make a screen image of that, a screen grab basically. Okay, so that's what I've done for that. And then the other thing is I did have, let me just see for some reason it's not coming up. One second. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to show you was I went in and did a Google for um, Rossetti, uh, Dante Gabriel Rossetti, who is a pre-Raphaelite painter, and I just grabbed this image here and we'll work with those in a minute. I've also got a Van Gogh and a couple of other things in, in storage here that we'll work with. But, um, you know, the other thing I want to say quickly, let me just come back to the camera real quick uh, before I forget. And let me remind you that whenever you're using any kind of imagery, written words, anything like that from the internet, um, you're always going to have to be aware of copyright issues. And I'm not a copyright lawyer, nor do I play one on TV. So these are things that I can't advise you about. But if you're going to make work and sell it, then you need to pay attention to these issues. If you're just making work for yourself or you are just um, going to use it for demonstration purposes or something like that, then, then the copyright issues are not as important, okay? But be sure if you're going to sell anything that you respect copyright, know what the copyright laws are and, and that kind of stuff, okay? All right, so let's go back to the iPad screen here and I'll... Uh, I'll get we'll get started on our on our digital collage. Let me just see. Hi Jill. Hey Jill, how you doing? I'm glad to see you there. I'm trying to look at both screens at the same time. So you you guys forgive me if I um miss some of the chat because it's it's hidden behind one of my screens. Okay. So here we are. We've got our iPad open and here is Art Rage. I'm going to open Art Rage, tap that, and I'm going to um, start at the beginning so you guys can see what it's like to create a new painting. Down here at the bottom, you're going to see the little dancing icon with the paintbrush. Whenever you open Art Rage, you just tap that. You get this uh, dialog box that lets you create a new painting. When you're going to create a new painting, it will give you the options of what size you want and what paper texture, uh, the scale, whether you want the paper metallic, opacity, all those kinds of things. I, I play with Art Rage a lot, and so if you want to get in there and play around, it's a really good idea just to, just to start pushing buttons. You're not going to hurt anything, right? And then, oops, one more thing I want to show you real quick before I forget because I don't have it, um, the overhead camera turned on. I want to show you the Apple Pencil that I'm using. Um, this is just the Apple Pencil that you can get at the Apple Store. I think they're about 100 bucks. And I have the iPad Pro. Well, I 
Can you see it? I have the iPad Pro here. So um, that's the tools I'm using. So you'll know what I'm working on. And now let's go back to the iPad screen. Okay, so I've got my uh, page set up here and I'm going to just say done and that's going to create my blank my blank page for me to work on and I'm just going to pinch it a little bit whoops I accidentally filled it with paint I'm going to pinch it a little bit so I can kind of see I keep touching it too much I have a heavy hand today so two finger pinch is going to allow you in art rage two finger pinch will allow you to shrink and expand your work surface and if you accidentally tap it like I did just there see I've got the paint bucket open up here at the top I'm gonna show you that paint bucket there at the top if I accidentally tap on the oh, blank page I'll, I'll fill it with paint just hit the undo button there at the bottom and it'll take it back to blank Art Rage is really cool for that you get a lot of you know a lot of ways that you can undo your boo-boos <laughs> believe me I know them all alright so this is my blank page to start with down here I've got these little stacked pages I'm going to Im import a um, layer you can see those stacked pages are like layers of paper and so imagine that you've got these pages these layers of paper to work with and you um, are just hang on sex sorry guys my um, Facebook video keeps playing in the background there we go these stacked pages are just like layers in Photoshop or you know, layers of paper really and so you can work on these different layers you can also if you look at the layers um, dialog box here that little icon that gear icon allows you to import a layer from your photo roll so here I'm going to import the layer and I've got an image here that I want to play with. I've got this image from Van Gogh of the cherry blossoms. Now down at the bottom when I import this layer you can see that the cherry blossoms are rotated to the incorrect orientation. So I've got these little squares down at the bottom and I can rotate this layer. So I'm going to rotate it so it's the right way and then I want to make it larger so it covers the, my entire page so that bounding box that you see around the little you know marching ant box that you see around that just pinch out and cover the entire page now I know that I've got a full bleed image on that layer I'll just hit my check mark and that's my layer now I can create another layer on top of that my, I'm in my layers again and I want to put this layer that's white I want that to be the layer that I'm working on so I'll hit my little box at the top tap on the layer and move it to the top so now I'm working on that layer I'm not working on my image of Van Gogh so whenever the green layer is activated that's the one you're working on now I want to add some text to this for my digital collage so I'm gonna go in and grab I'm gonna import a layer from my photo roll that I had earlier and I think I have a sonnet from Elizabeth Barrett Browning yes how do I love thee let me count the ways so I'm gonna once again I've grabbed that and you can see it's rotated incorrectly so I'm gonna rotate it the proper way and I want this to bleed over my entire Van Gogh image so I want to make sure it's bigger then I hit my check mark and that's good now all I can see is that image of the text well I want that to be more transparent because I want to be able to see my cherry blossom tree so tap my layers again go up here to the layer that's green hit the gear icon and look at the uh, opacity here and change the opacity so see now I can see my Van Gogh behind there and it still may be a little bit too opaque so let's make it a little bit more transparent that's better 
Okay. Looks like we've got an extra layer we don't need. Let's delete this layer. There. Now that looks pretty good, um, you know, for a, a just a kind of run-of-the-mill digital collage, right? But let's go to this layer in Van Gogh and let's duplicate this layer because we're going to play with it a little bit and we goof up we can always take the layer away so duplicate a layer if you're going to play around on it duplicate it because then you can always back it out and not make a you know ruin the entire project that you're working on so I'm gonna take my paint bucket you can see I've got my paint bucket going here this is your toolbar over here where you have all your tools You've got your paintbrush, airbrush, roller, your you know your brayer, paint tube, all of these things here, and you can play with all of them. They're all really cool. You can even put glitter down. Let's put some glitter down, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I put glitter down, see now I have this metallic-looking glitter on top of my uh, image. You know, uh, you can also put down things like just straight up paint from the tube pretty cool stuff you can do a lot of cool stuff so I encourage you to get in there and play around what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint bucket and you can see now my paint buckets is activated down in the bottom there and I'm going to take the color and I'm going to go over here grab the color picker here you can see in the in the lower right I've got my little color picker I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna get kind of a soft pink now I'm gonna go back into make sure I've got I'm on the right layer here go back into my layer and I'm just gonna see about filling whoops I, I'm not on the didn't move it so I gotta move it to the top so you can see what I'm doing there we go because you couldn't see it because it was underneath the other one. I forgot to uh, move it. So you know what? Let me go back and do do that again so you can kind of see what I did. Let's, um, I'm going to delete this layer and do it again so you can see what I did. All right, let's duplicate it one more time. There we go. Now, because I was working on that layer and it was beneath the other two layers, when I hit the paint bucket, you couldn't see it fill in. So what you want to do move that layer to the top so that you can always see what you're doing before you uh, put paint bucket in it or paint brush or anything like that and that will help a lot so let's do that now I'll use my paint bucket and I'm just gonna do a couple of these I'm not gonna do all of them I don't want all of them done so let's get maybe and be, be sure when you do these that you get enclosed spaces because if I go here see I get the whole thing so I don't want that I want something enclosed and I want to change the color to just a little bit bluer so let's see if this is enclosed here that's not enclosed enough how about right here okay there's a good one and maybe here okay that's fine um, I don't think this is enclosed no okay so you see how they bleed out into the bigger areas if they're not enclosed so you want to make sure that you get enclosed areas when you're using something like paint bucket and I want to go just a little bit lighter and we'll go let's see if this works okay good yeah now I have metallic set on this do you see this little bar here this is metallic that's giving you that kind of granulated look alright let's go back now we will since we got that the way we like it we're gonna take this layer and make it invisible the one that's on the bottom make it invisible and then we're going to move this layer down so that our words are on top of it and this layer the bottom layer is invisible so it doesn't really matter if it's there or not you could delete it but I always like to duplicate those layers when I start to play around with them because then you don't ruin the whole project okay so that's a very very simple digital collage there let's save that now 
you could could do a lot more with that. You could do a lot more layers with that and so on. But that's a really simple one. Um, let's export this. We're going to save it. I'm going to save it as and change the name. And we're going to call it Digital Painting. I think I've got a few going here, so I'll make it number three. Now, when I go back out to my gallery, you touch the little icon and it says View Gallery. Go to View Gallery and you can see there's Digital Collage, Digital Painting number three right there. Now you have the option to export it. Down at the bottom, you see the little Export button. Now you can export it as a JPEG file. Whenever you're working inside ArtRage, you want to make sure that you always export stuff to JPEG because or PNG, but JPEG works a lot uh, through a lot more applications than PNG. So JPEG file, export it to JPEG. Then it'll ask you where you want to send it. So you can mail it to yourself or put it in Dropbox. I usually just put it in the photo roll and there it goes. Now we'll go into Photoshop Express over here and this was the last one I was working on. Let's look at uh, what we just did. Now here is our Photoshop Express which is a free um, app that you get from Adobe and this gives us the option of putting some cool filters and things in our digital collage. So first of all let's look at uh, rotation here. I think I want to rotate this baby. Whoops! Rotated it the wrong way. Let's go that way. Okay. Now it's right side up and that's good. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to save. Whoops, I hit I hit uh, close and I didn't mean to. And it's going to ask me every time you do an iteration of the uh, image, it'll ask you to save it. So I'm going to save that iteration to camera roll. Now I will come back and go back to my different um, types of uh, filters that I can use here. And let's put the autumn filter on that. So see how that kind of warms it up and gives it a little bit of a vignette on the side there. That's the autumn filter. We could do the summer filter, the hazy filter. There's lots of different filters you can use. For instance, look at the silvered filter. You know, these are kinds of things that you might be able to do if you were doing a wedding invitation or a birthday card or something like that. It can be a lot of fun. Contrast punch at the other end of the spectrum. So let's put it in um, Autumn Filter. We Just put it in Autumn Filter and we're going to save it to Camera Roll and there you go. Okay, so now let's close this and let's look at Camera Roll and you can see here that was our original um, digital collage that we did and this is the one with the autumn filter from Photoshop. I mean from uh, yeah well it's Photoshop it's uh, PS Express it's called PS Photoshop Express okay so I hope that helps that's a little brief little overview on the uh, digital painting and digital collage, how to make a digital collage. Let me just see if there are any questions. Do you guys have any questions for me? I see Christina, Frida, Jill. Um, I am going to jump over into problem solving with a painting if you guys don't have any questions on that. I know I went, I went kind of fast but um, there's a lot of stuff to cover so all right looks like you guys are good. Okay so we're back at the um, iPad screen and uh, we're going to go back into Art Rage again, but what I have going in Photo Roll is I've got in my camera roll here somewhere. Okay, so this is one of my little paintings, and I want to show you how um, you can problem solve 
what you're working on with Art Rage, and it can be super helpful if you're working and you don't quite know what to do next. So let's look at doing that in Art Rage. Got Art Rage here. I'm going to start a new painting, and uh, that's fine. We'll just leave it the way it is. Now I'm going to go down here to Layers, and I'm going to import a layer and I'm going to use photo library grab whoops not moments camera roll and I'm going to grab that now say for instance you're uh, you're looking at this and you're thinking well you know I really need to add something to this I don't really know maybe this painting needs black boxes so I wonder what black boxes would look like well you could paint black boxes on the canvas but then what if they don't look good what if they're horrible then you've ruined the painting right so how about if we take this painting and we put a new layer down or actually we don't put a new layer down we just move this layer above and we get our um, let's use our pen we'll make it black and we're gonna put down black boxes do we like them? I don't know. They look kind of horrible, right? Let's let's put the paintbrush. Let's use the paintbrush. I don't know. That wasn't a really good idea, was it? So you see how you could use this and go, oh, I thought black boxes were going to look great on my canvas. Uh, no, they don't. They look horrible. Take them off. And maybe um, we need a color that's on the canvas already. So if I hold down my pencil, do you see how that little circular thingy comes up? That gives me the exact color that I'm sampling on the page. So now in my color picker down here, it's got the exact color. So maybe what I really needed to do was I needed squares or boxes that are that exact color, but maybe just a skosh lighter. What would that look like? Well, maybe, whoops, am I in a, yeah, there I am. I gotta move my, um, move my layer so you can see me there. Good, okay. So maybe that's a good idea. Maybe that's what the painting needs. So you see how much more useful it is to have that color picker pick the exact color you need Let's take those guys out and oops, I moved my I moved my layer there. I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, so say for instance, this is the color I think I need. And that's what it comes up with. How about if we punch up the um, saturation and uh, we get a a pen and you know maybe I need some more of these doodads here. Very, very helpful to be able to do this without doing it on the canvas and uh, then going, oh god, that wasn't such a great idea. Why did I do that? You know, that kind of thing. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'm going to come back here to the camera. Um, I, I do want to just point out that, you know, Art Rage is a very powerful program. I use it pretty much exclusively. I know that there's also brushes. There's a ton of different digital painting programs that you can use out there and I would encourage you to try them out. I think Art Rage may be, it's probably under ten dollars on the um, on iTunes on the apps and I would really encourage you to try it out. And you certainly don't need an Apple Pencil. I work with my finger a lot. As a matter of fact, I've even been known, this has happened on more than one occasion, I've even been known, I'll be working and touching the thing and painting around and I'll wipe my finger off. Because I think I got paint on it. Seriously, you guys. Oh. So, <laughs> just so you know, it's a really powerful program and I like it a lot and I know everyone else has like lots of cool um, input on different programs that they use so by all means try one of them out try several of them out 
the uh, the one thing that I think is really cool is the ability for um, ArtRage to be able to import those photos in and then work in layers just like you're working with sheets of paper and stuff. It's a really cool program. I like it a lot. Let me see if there are any questions over here. Hey Frida, you enjoyed the demo, no questions, but you may have some when you actually try it. Okay, yeah, well that's fine. I'm thinking about putting together a course for the iPad for inside my online school at over at learn.acrylicdiva.com. Watch this. So I want to show you guys, um, I want to give you guys a little uh, URL that you can visit, right? So how about this? How about learn dot acrylic diva dot com. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so get on over there and check it out. There's also some free classes over there, and I think Frida might be in. Um, some of the classes over there as well. I've got free stuff for you guys. I like to give away free stuff. Speaking of free stuff, how about some free paint? You know, let's let's have people um, give me some guesses. Let me get a piece of paper. I have to write down, hold on. I want to write down the number for you. I'm going to write the number down first and then I want you guys to guess a number between 1 and 10. Uh, let's make it 1 and 10. And um, guess a number between 1 and 10. And I will send you paint to the person that gets the closest. And that's for you all that are in the United States. Unfortunately, I can't send paint outside the United States because there's all kinds of customs or I don't know why. I just I just know that I can't. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm a painter. I'm not a customs inspector. So there you go. In the meantime, let's see what's going on. Okay, coming up on um, this coming weekend, this holiday weekend, uh, I'm going to have a special deal going on my school at learn.acrylicdiva.com. I'm going to have a special deal going on that, so stay tuned. If you are on Facebook, I'll pop into YouTube. You'll also get something in the email newsletter. There's going to be a special super duper deal, okay? Um, that will be coming up, all right? Okay, and then as you may know, on Thursday night we have Creative Flow. That's over on the other YouTube channel. That's over on uh, Acrylic Diva Workshops. And you can check that out as well. All right, it looks like we've got some guesses coming in. Um, Frida, you must use your finger with actual paint. <laughs> I know, sometimes I do. It's crazy. I know, I know. I, you know, it's, it's kind of wacky. It's kind of wacky. The, the amount of paint that I get on my hands is kind of wacky. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just wait a little bit because I know I've got some people that um, are still there and have not. I'm looking at the screen here to see if everybody had a chance to guess, and it looks like did everybody guess? Looks like it. It looks like everybody's been guessing. So I'm gonna just wait a couple minutes more. Um, any more questions for me in terms of? We have the iPad here. Uh, any kind of acrylic questions you may have, let's you know get those answered as well. One thing I should also mention to you is that there are lots of good service bureaus out there that will print uh, digital images for you, and they can be some really high quality stuff. So you could take the image that you get from the iPad and print it out and then work back on top of it. So there are lots of permutations here. And by the way, don't let anyone tell you or don't believe that this isn't real art, okay? You all probably know that David Hockney, very famous artist, 
is working on the iPad and has been for some time. And I saw a fabulous exhibit of his work at the de Young Museum. And they had large reproductions of his iPad paintings. And they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. So don't get the idea that this is somehow cheating or something like that. No way, no how. This is just as valid as a pencil and a piece of paper, OK? Frida says, I have an iPad, but not the pro version. Would your class include an older version? You know, I think you can probably use Art, Ra Art Rage on the older version. I believe I had Art Rage on my other iPad. The only difference is the iPad Pro is the only one that you can use the pencil with. Now, on my older iPad, I actually used a, another type of stylus. But absolutely, I believe Art Rage is, is um on is available on on the older iPad as well okay so there you go all right it is time for me to give away paint and the number is eight 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 so who's closest to eight his sibling his sibling hello that's a very interesting handle his sibling um, looks like you're closest to our number today so you win some paint what I want you to do is send me an email I'm gonna put right here in the chat box at least I think I am it won't let me type why won't it let me type there it goes okay um, you can send me an email to Tisa at acrylic diva it's not going to let me type the at sign, so I will just put it here, Tisa at acrylicdiva.com. Okay, send me an email, and in that email say, I won paint today, and then I will know that you get that, and also your correct mailing address and your proper name. All right, okay, anybody else? Any more questions? I'm just looking here. Looks like everybody guessed, and it looks like we've got uh, some good questions there. Be sure you tune in next week, same time, same bat channel, because I'm going to be doing some cool stuff from the studio where um, I can do a little bit messier stuff. I'm going to be talking about water and acrylic paint and different surfaces that you can work on with water and acrylic paint. Okay? All right, everybody. Yeah, uh, Frida says, yes, the App Store says the Art Rage will work on your old iPad. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're going to love it. It's a really good program. His sibling, thank you very much. I will em email you shortly. Fabulous. Fabulous. Be sure I get your address in there and I'll send you some paint. In the meantime, you all have a wonderful day. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell that says notifications because that will give you a notification whenever I go live. And you never know. I might sneak in here sometime other than Wednesday at noon. You never can tell. I'm sneaky like that. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to get going. It looks like the sun's trying to come out. Do you see me sitting here in this turtleneck? It is so cold and foggy right here. So I am going to try and grab my little puppy dog and grab some sunshine. I will see you guys next week, or I'll see you on Facebook. As always, it's my pleasure to hang out with you. Thank you so much for being here. And what do I always say? What's my favorite thing to say to you? Keep painting. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.